Where do I even start? I can't deal with this. Hey there Pod Squad, welcome back to the channel. My name is Yona, I'm a third year podiatric medical student at CSPM and today I'm gonna to go over some of the resources that helped me succeed in pathology. And I know a lot of you are thinking pathology is a really hard subject, it's really daunting, you've never heard of this subject before, what does pathology even entail? But it's okay, I know it's a tough subject, but we'll go over some of those resources that will help alleviate some of that stress you're feeling right now. The first resource that I would recommend to all medical students who are taking pathology for the first time is Pathoma. Pathoma is a comprehensive resource that goes over very, very key concepts for pathology and the lectures are, are incredible. They go into great detail for concepts that are very difficult for a lot of students to, to understand. And I know I use Pathoma, especially during my board studying a lot of the time. Also they have a book, a separate online book or you can buy a hard copy that goes over key things or key bullet points that you will find I guarantee on your exam that you should know about particular diseases particular infections and it's a great resource and I it's it costs a little bit of money I think it's $99 per year to use but the program itself a lot of students will swear by it that it has helped them do really really well on pathology the second resource that I would recommend for you guys is WebPath. WebPath is an amazing online resource that really does a good job highlighting some general pathology but also some systemic pathology that you could look at some of the pictures for different organ systems, different infections, different histology. Yes, histology is a big part in pathology and if your professor is testing you on histology, I recommend you to look at WebPath because they have a multitude of slides on histology that if you can recognize that I'm pretty sure you will do well on your exam and they also have an examination section on their website that uh, you can tailor to either general pathology or again specific organ system pathology and their questions are difficult but they really do prepare you and they have good explanations for that so I would definitely recommend you to take a look at that website so for the third resource that I would recommend you guys to all buy is the Robbins & Cochran Review of Pathology. And this book is actually the supplement to the Robbins Basic Pathology textbook, which I guarantee you that your pathology professor probably recommended you to buy. So this supplemental resource helped me a lot, especially getting ready for midterm exams, especially my first midterm pathology exam because I didn't know what to expect from it. I was very nervous and a lot of people were telling me that there was a lot of clinical vignettes that I had to get ready for. So this book did a great job presenting questions that were very high yield and reading just some of the explanations for these questions was an added supplement for me to really learn the concepts really, really well and not be afraid when I took my pathology exams. So try buying this book. So for the fourth research that I recommend you guys to use is the USMLE Step 1 First Aid book. Uh, this book is everything that you're pretty much having to know for your boards, your upcoming boards if you're taking the APMLE or the USMLE. But for just the pathology section alone, there's actually a basic pathology section that is really good for fundamentals. And then the rest of the book actually just has a bunch of organ systems. And in each organ system for that particular section, there's a pathology section that actually uh, corresponds to that section. So you can read that pathology, pathology section for that particular organ system. And look, your class is probably going to be separated into different organ systems. So this book is a good supplemental tool to have by your side while you're taking notes, while you're reading your professor's notes. It's, it's really nice to have. And additionally, it has other supplemental resources in the back of the book that it goes over that you could also buy in the future that you think could help with your studying. So this book is really uh, everything all in one. And again, you're probably gonna buy this in the future, but if you haven't already, buy it now because it's just gonna be a lifesaver for a lot of your classes. 
The fifth and last resource that is sort of a bonus resource that I used most of the time was actually BRS Pathology. Look, most of my exams, especially my second semester of pathology, were there was just a lot of clinical vignettes. And I have I have a hard time reading these clinical vignettes because I'm running out of time, first of all, and they're long, and you're trying to deduce the diagnosis as quickly and efficiently as possible on test day. But there's just a lot of things going on in your head. You're probably tired, you stayed up all night. But for BRS, they underline, they bolded keywords that are unique to a particular disease. So I would remember those keywords, those bolded keywords. So when I did see that on the test, on that clinical vignette, I immediately sort of jumped to a conclusion thinking like, okay, this should be the diagnosis. I don't want to say you should do this all the time, but for the most part, it worked for me. And it's a dirty little trick that some students use and I really liked using it. So if you find yourself running out of time and you don't have a lot of time to study, try to utilize BRS and it'll probably help you in the long run. Hopefully all the resources that I've given in this video are going to help you in your career of taking pathology or if you're currently taking pathology. I know pathology is a very difficult subject and it's very daunting. However, it's actually a beautiful subject and it's actually very fun once you get it down. Also, the supplements that I've listed in this video are not here to replace whatever notes your professor is giving you. FYI, just be careful of that. In addition, we're gonna be posting future videos on supplements that we use for other classes that we've taken in medical school. So be on the lookout for that by subscribing to our YouTube channel and hitting the bell notification. Anyways, Pod Squad, I hope you have a great day. Pod Squad signing out.